Hello guys and welcome to today's video on working with the rip command inside of Autodesk Inventor. Now the rip command is going to be found when you're working with sheet metal. So take for example this cone that we have here. Notice that it does have some sort of a intricate shape down here, right? So you might be able to weld this cone to another part. Um, and again, we're going to want to create some sort of a rip so that we're able to create a flat pattern from it. Send that out to our plasma machine, water jet, or whatever it may be. All right, so no notice that if we go to the sheet metal command, select the rip option. All right, so you have a couple options here, right? Do you want to rip at a single point, point to point, or the entire face to extent? All right, so in this case, I want to do a point to point, but notice that I don't necessarily have a good selection, right? So I can select the face. Um, I can't really select a point here or down the model um, and you have to be uh, pretty smart about where you select those two points also right you want the part essentially to be symmetrical um, just makes life a lot easier when you do work with symmetry so let's go ahead and take that into consideration when we create our two points so what we're gonna want to do then is go ahead and create a sketch real quick and let's go ahead and look through the planes, right? So we can see that the YZ plane is splitting the part in half. So let's go ahead and start a sketch there. So it orients us to the YZ plane. Again, let's go ahead and do a quick projection, right? So if we hit the little drop down for project, notice that you have project geometry, project cut edges, and a few more other options down here, right? So essentially what cut edges does is it takes the plane and then it splits the body and it creates a sketch wherever that uh, body is touching the plane, right? So that's what we want. Let's go ahead and select that. Notice that it was touching along those surfaces there. So it automatically created that sketch for us. Right? So what that's gonna allow us to do is go back into the rip command. So now instead of that single point, again, let's go to point to point, select this surface here because that's the one that we wanna rip the start point for our rip is going to be that top point there end point is going to be the bottom right so it creates that rip again you can determine how much of a gap that's going to be right so in this case it's going to be 0.138 or the thickness of my sheet metal um, you can always go a little bit smaller right so in this case you can either divide it by two makes that rip a little bit smaller there go ahead and select OK and now when we go to create a flat pattern, right? So we can just create that flat pattern. It creates that flat pattern of our profile. All right, so from here you can create a template, right? Let's say you're gonna send it out to your operator or just gonna manufacture this part altogether. You can just right click on the folded model, create a quick drawing view. And instead of the folded model, we wanna make sure that we have the flat pattern. Select the top view. Right, and now you have essentially a template. Make sure that the scale is one to one also. Right? Now we have a template of our cone shape ready to get made. So that's been working with the rib command inside of Autodesk Inventor. Hope that helped you guys.